Hey, what's up, everybody? Coming to you with another What's Next. This is going to be on Joe Smith Jr. and Eliter Alvarez. Uh, these two guys collided on August 22nd in the main event of an ESPN Plus card. It was a light heavyweight title final eliminator for the vacant WBO belt that is um, going on. going to be on the line probably late this year, early next year. Oh, excuse me. The winner was in line to fight. Uh, it is in line to fight the winner of un the undefeated Russians, uh, Maxim Vlasov and Uzmanov. Um, and the winner of this fight was basically the favorite going into a fight with those two Russians because those two Russians just don't have the experience that um, the two fighters in this fight had between Smith and Alvarez. Smith uh, surprisingly overcame uh, Alvarez, and this was a pretty. It was. A, it was. I wouldn't call it a mild upset. I think this was a pretty big upset, but um, not the biggest shocker. I mean, these were both two top ten guys. I had Alvarez going in as my number three light heavyweight in the world. He's a guy that knocked out Kovalev uh, just two years ago, and then lost the belt back to him about a year and a half ago. Um, Joe Smith, uh, you know, was the number nine light heavyweight in the world for his uh, upset of Jesse Hart earlier this year in January. And then, um, you know, but he was a guy that last year fought for the title against Dimitri Bavall and got his ass whipped uh, by one-sided 12-round decision. And, um, you know, so I really thought Alvarez was just too good of a boxer, and he's got such a deadly overhand right, and he times it so well. I just thought he was more complete than Joe Smith Jr., but Joe Smith Jr. is just a fucking bully, guys. I mean, this dude goes in there, just got that grunt, come right at you style, and, um, you know, he, he's just, in his past two fights, he's come in underdogs against Jesse Hart and Elita Alvarez and just fucking bullied these guys, man. I mean, all around the ring bullied him, and he knocked Alvarez out impressively after a one-sided performance. I mean, he wore down Alvarez. It wasn't like the Pavekin and White fight on the same day where Dillian White was winning and then Pavekin just caught him. I mean, he wore down Elita Alvarez. I, lo I was watching uh, the fight kind of in and out, and I was looking. I looked at the scores, and man, I think, I think uh, Alvarez on only won one round on one of the judges' scorecards, or two rounds on all three judges' scorecards. I mean, he was getting worked and just beat up. He was landing good, decent shots, but he was just getting worked and beat up. And at 36, maybe Alvarez has finally passed it, you know. So now the question is, what's next for both fighters? Let's look at the loser, leader Alvarez first. Um, I hate to say loser, uh, in a, it's not a derogatory sense, he did lose the fight. Um, the former light heavyweight champion, Lito Alvarez. Um, you know, I, he's, I know his trainer, our trainer or his uh, management team wants him to look at retirement. Um, I think Alvarez is good enough for another run, for one more run. I think maybe Joe Smith, he's just hot right now. Maybe he's hitting his prime. Maybe um, Alvarez just wasn't prepared for the kind of attack uh, that uh, Joe Smith brought on. You know, you guys have to remember this coronavirus has kind of hit everybody hard. It's different, you know. Um, no excuses, though. I mean, he lost the fight, and he lost the fight clean. Again, even at 36, though, I think Alvarez, because there's he's had so much time in between fights uh, over the last few years since he was being avoided by Adonis Stevenson, that I think Alvarez, you know, I think he, he should come back for one last run because I do think he's, he's still – talented enough to make a run in a division at 175 that's still somewhat kind of uh, open and you know like I said I mean this loss because of what he's done already um, I'm only dropping him I think uh, one or two spots I think he's dropping the fourth you know right behind Joe Smith because of what he's done um, so you know I still think Alvarez can bang and get and, and get it going but um, and, and make an impact in this division and be a, a legitimate, credible challenger to somebody. But does he want to do that at his age? You know, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he retires. If he comes back, it's probably not going to be for, I'd say, at least six months into uh, early to mid next year. And then maybe it's uh, jumping back in against just a tune up opponent to set up a possible maybe eliminator sometime uh, late next year. So we'll see if he wants to put that mileage on and tack on another year of boxing trying to get back in the mix because my opinion I wouldn't I don't see a title fight in his future until the earliest maybe 2022 unless somebody wanted to give him give him a crack you know and um, that that could happen but a lot of these guys these champions right now are trying to unify with each other 
And, um, you know, I just don't see him getting a title shot anytime soon, um, you know, unless he were to go after Dimitri Gaval. So that's uh, on Elite or Alvarez. Now, what's next for Joe Smith Jr., the winner of the fight? Well, as I said at the beginning, Joe Smith is now in line to fight for the vacant WBO uh, light heavyweight title. Um, he's fighting the winner of the two Russians, Vlasov and uh, Uzmanov. Those guys are supposed to be getting going uh, soon. Um, you know, they're trying to figure out the uh, around the coronavirus, how to set up that fight. Uh, it's going to take place in Russia. Um, you know, they're trying to set it up. I I'm hoping that maybe uh, on the Better BF card that's at the end of September, they can land that on that card, maybe the latest October. That way we could be seeing this fight um, in the first uh, quarter of 2021. Like maybe the first quarter would be by March um, of next uh, next year. You know, that way we can pull it off so Joe Smith's not waiting too long. But Joe Smith, no problem in waiting in between fights. I mean, this dude went from getting his ass whipped in March of last year, took 10 months off in between, didn't take any fights, and he upset Jesse Hart. So, and he's done that before. So, I mean, Joe Smith, no stranger to time off in between fights. Um, you know, biggest win, in my opinion, in terms of um, – I think this is the biggest win of his career. I know Bernard Hopkins is the biggest name on his resume, but he knocked out a 51-year-old Bernard Hopkins in Hopkins' last fight. Um, knocked him out, you know, impressive, but Hopkins hadn't fought in two years since being decisively beaten by Sergey Kovalev. So, you know, um, I think in terms of what this means for his career, this is definitely the biggest win of his career. I think he's going in the favorite against one of those two Russians. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if those two Russians beat, were to beat Joe Smith, but the way Joe Smith is on this hot streak right now, um, I think we're looking at the next WBO light heavyweight champion, um, you know, which would be a dream come true, be his first world title. So, um, and the last thing I want to say is this speaks to, I want everybody to know that this speaks to how good Dimitri Baval is, the undefeated WBA super champion at light heavyweight. Because as I said, he fought Joe Smith last year in March and he whipped Joe Smith's ass. Joe Smith hurt him in the 10th round for a moment. He buzzed him and, but Bivol put it on Joe Smith for every minute of every round for 12 rounds. And if he would have had another maybe 20 to 30 seconds in that 12th round, he would have stopped Joe Smith. So, um, Demetri Bivol, this speaks to how good he really is. And, um, you know, that's moved. He, his rating has definitely moved up as well. And, um, you know, you could argue Dimitri Baval for number one in the division now. So, um, you know, that's it. That's the what's next on Joe Smith Jr., former world, uh, former world title challenger and now number one contender for the WBO light heavyweight title and for former WBO champion Elita Alvarez. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.